In this video, you will learn distributed database, its types, advantages, and disadvantages. A distributed database is a type of database that is spread across multiple machines, often in different locations. These machines work together to provide access to a single, logically centralized database. Types of distributed database Partitioned In a partition distributed database, the data is split into different partitions, or subsets, that are spread across multiple machines. Each partition is a self-contained subset of the data, and each machine stores one or more partitions. Replicated In a replicated distributed database, multiple copies of the same data are stored on different machines. These copies are kept in sync with one another through a process called replication. Shared Nothing In a shared nothing distributed database, each machine has its own storage and processing resources, and there is no shared storage or memory between machines. This allows for high scalability, since each machine can be added or removed independently of the others. Distributed databases are useful in situations where a single machine cannot store all the data or where it is necessary to provide high availability or fast access to the data from multiple locations. However, distributed databases are generally more complex to design and manage than a single machine database, and may have a performance overhead associated with the additional network communication required to access the data. Distributed databases have several advantages over traditional, single machine databases. Scalability Distributed databases can be spread across multiple machines, allowing for a much larger amount of data to be stored and processed. High availability By having multiple copies of the data stored on different machines, a distributed database can continue to operate even if one or more machines fail. Improved performance Distributed databases can improve performance by storing data on multiple machines and spreading the load across them. Improved data access. Distributed databases can provide faster access to data from multiple locations by storing the data closer to where it is needed. Handling large workload. Distributed databases can handle large workload by distributing the processing load over multiple machines. However, distributed databases also have some disadvantages. Complexity. Distributed databases are generally more complex to design and manage than traditional, single machine databases. There are more components and network communication required, and it can be more difficult to ensure data consistency and integrity. Additional latency, due to the distance between machines, it can add additional latency to the system, meaning it will take longer for the data to travel from the user to the location where the data is stored. Security challenges because distributed databases spread the data across multiple machines, it can be more difficult to secure the data and ensure that only authorized users have access to it. Additional hardware cost. Distributed systems require more hardware resources to store, process and transfer data, which leads to additional cost. Lack of standardization. Different vendors and products may have different strategies for distribution, leading to a lack of standardization making it difficult to migrate data or transfer knowledge between different systems. Who needs distributed database? Overall, the choice of using distributed database depends on the use case and the trade-offs you are willing to make between the additional cost, complexity and security concerns, and the benefits of scalability, high availability and improved performance.